My name is Matt Metz, and um, I'm from well, I'm from the U.S., but actually I live in China right now. I live in Guangzhou. Um, yeah. So right now at the Maker Fair, we got this project that I'm super excited about. It's called the Blinky Tile, and the Blinky Tile is a um, is a construction kit for making our own LED sculptures. So you can make something like these like nice like light um, sort of like crystal pieces, um, or you can make these like really cool like tight balls, like geometric things that make shapes, or anything from that to like just totally freeform like cactus tree sculptures, anything like that. So maybe we can come over and show you uh, with our, our soldering patch here. So the tile, the tile itself is um, is five sided, and um, it's a this is a soldering kit. So um, you solder it together to make the shape, and basically there's there's just like five connections on each side you have to make and you hold them together, and when you solder it, it makes, makes both the mechanical and the electrical connection. So then, um, then once you've got it soldered together, you're ready to go. And um, these LEDs are not just normal LEDs, they're, uh, they're a digital LED, and they have a controller on each one, and each one has its own address. So when you solder them all up, you've actually connected them, and then we use one like main controller to send data out to all of them to like, make a nice pattern over the whole tile. So you can make a really cool like, you know, like animated patterns or kind of like super subtle lighting effects or anything like that. So these are like three examples of kind of things you can do with it. This is like what I call kind of like a tree structure. Like these pieces are coming out and um, if you think of like pentagons, like normally people think like really strong rigid geometry, like you're thinking like sort of like, you know, like triangles or like cool space shapes. And so you can see a bit of that here where you see these uh, these kind of like, this is half of a dodecahedron. Um, but then at the end here, it starts to branch off into these like crazy weird places. And um, that's a little similar to like, you know, if you have uh, crystals that don't grow in a, in a good, like really clean environment, they get these little like imperfections and they start breaking off in different directions. So this is kind of like an example of like what you would see a crystal kind of growing in the wild and just going crazy. Um, and this one we have over here, this is, uh, this is a much more like regular shape. So this is uh, the, the same, like, it's like a rigid crystal structure, and um, we've actually 3D printed these little diffuser, like plastic pyramids onto each one. And um, these pieces can, can pop off, um, but the idea is that you can, like if you just have it like this, you have a really point source light, but to make it smoother, you can 3D print these little pieces on it. Um, and we have all the designs and stuff for this up on our, on our uh, website. Um, and then the one over there, is uh, a dodecahedron. Actually, it's similar to this other dodecahedron we have here. And the cool thing about this design is that it creates shadows. So if you have this, oh, if you have this in a dark room, like if you have this in like a living room, you know, when you have the lights down for a party or something like that, you can get some really sweet, like, awesome, like, tile, like, like light effects going on. And like, this design is white, and it's kind of a disco ball, but you can actually put colors on it and make it slower, and then it creates like a really pleasing, like, sort of elegant, elegant pattern. So, um, what we're doing at this fair, and um, there's there's a little backstory to this, um, but the basic idea is uh, we wanted to show up and we wanted to have people help us to make this structure. So rather than coming, you know, with a bunch of stuff in a crate, put it out and just show it to people, the idea is we actually came here and we just brought a bunch of tiles and some soldering equipment and everyone that comes by can join us and be a collaborator in this project and help it become bigger and bigger and bigger. So we brought um, 2,100 of these little tiles and um, everyone that comes to visit us, well, you should get a wristband, but everyone that comes to visit us can solder one or two tiles on and help us make a giant LED chandelier sculpture. So we've got this whole space here. We've got a bunch of seed sculptures and structures with some examples, and um, we would like everyone to come out and uh, help us out and build something really amazing. So that's what we've got. If you like what you see here, we actually just launched our Kickstarter this morning for the Blinky Tile, um, and we're uh, we're kickstarting these these sets of LEDs. So um, you can get a basic kit, which lets you make a dodecahedron ball. Um, you can get larger packs, and you can get a huge pack. So if you want to make something, um, it's a great way to learn how to solder, to practice your soldering skills, and you can make something that you really want to use and keep in your house. So we're really excited about it we think you will be too. So Maker Fair is like Maker Fair is like a home to me. I've been I've been going to the Maker Fair since uh, I missed the first one because I had to go to a wedding and I've been to almost everyone since that. And, but I love the Maker Fair and um, it's great to see so many cool projects and every year it just keeps getting more and more exciting and it's, it's super fun and I'm really glad to be here.